morning. Happy Monday, March 27th. Well, did you see last week that at the end of the production year of 2024, General Motors is going to discontinue the Camaro, one of those big muscle cars. It began its production run back in 1966. Other things is, um, Jerome Powell, the uh, chairman for the Federal Reserve, last week announced that they're going to raise interest rates another quarter of a point. I think that's trying to uh, hold back inflation a little bit. And lastly, in worthless news that who cares to use, um, there's an optometrist by the name of Terry Sanderson who is suing actress Gwyneth Paltrow from Iron Man and various other movies uh, for $300,000. He claims she ran into him on a ski resort. Now, this goes back to 2016. The lawsuit was filed in 2019 against uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, her ski instructor, because I guess the instructor was present, and against the resort for $3.1 million. But no, now it's called something like a, uh, a hit and run on a ski slope. Anyway, once again, worthless news that who cares to use? Let's get to today's topic. <laughs> Medicare supplement insurance policy premiums are really on the increase here. Did you know that there is now a free look on those Medicare Advantage policies when you first sign up for up to one year? And that free look can take place whether you just turn 65 and go on Medicare or you've been on a Medicare supplement and you want to come off of it. You have a free look. Your old Medicare supplement insurance company has to take you back with the same policy you had before. Hey Mark, that's great news, right? Uh, well, maybe yes and maybe no. Let's take a look at the yes. So you've been on this Medicare Advantage plan for a year, and let's assume that your health is deteriorated. And a lot of people, when their health deteriorates, they don't want to be on these plans because of the out-of-pockets. With the Medicare supplement, remember my old videos in the past? The Fram commercials, pay me now or pay me later. You pay a premium to the Medicare supplement plan, and you have on a plan G, typically the $226 deductible for here in 2023. So you know you had succumbed to all the advertisement from Joe Namath. You're on the Medicare Advantage plan, but you realize, you know what? Your medical claims are, say, $100,000 a year. And on the Medicare Advantage, you found yourself owing, you know, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 in out-of-pocket expenses. So you hop back to the Medicare Supplement Plan. Before you were paying for your standard plan G, $250 a month. Now, because they have to take you back, you're only spending $175. These numbers are fictitious, but you're going to get the idea. So you're saving $75 a month. Why not, right? But you know what? You're still having claims of, say, $100,000 a year. So let's talk about why your premium went from 250 down to 175. The 250, that was considered old rates. The 175 is considered new business. There is no way for the company at this point in time to take you back at the old rates, so they give you the new rates, hence the $75 a month savings. But remember, you're still having claims of $100,000 a year. So, Mark, you said premiums are on the increase. Well, remember I said that you are now going to be spending $175 a month, okay? That's $75 cheaper than what you were before. That's about a 30% discount. But the insurance company still has to pay the same rate of claims at $100,000 a year in my fictitious uh, scenario here. They now are in a position to lose money. So to compensate for this loss, this differential, they're going to have to have premiums going up. That's why the other side of the coin is, is this a good thing that you have a 
one year free look on a Medicare Advantage plan to go to back to a Medicare supplement, I'm going to say to you, no. It's simple. It may help you out individually, but the whole industry is being hurt by this. Remember I told you a couple weeks ago I was in ethics meeting? They were anticipating in this ethics meeting premiums to go up anywhere from 22 to 32% over the next 12 months. Wow. So Mark, I guess you're saying that this whole policy of a free look to go back to a Medicare supplement plan at new business rates Yes, because there's no way to get you your old raid back is bad for the industry. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And because I'm saying that that is going to hurt the person who is paying the premium. And the interesting thing is, you can see this coming. You know, have you ever been out in the Great Plains of the U.S. and you see the storm off in the distance? And that's what's happening with this new policy. So... My number and stuff is right here on the bottom of the screen. When you get your premium increase, if you feel like it's unjustified, give me a call. There might be another insurance company that we represent that can uh, offer you a lower premium than what you're paying right now. And whether or not that's the case, if you've had your Medicare supplements for, say, five or six years, also don't hesitate to give me a call because there may be something that we can do to uh, reduce your rates, especially if you're a very healthy individual and you can qualify for underwriting through a new company, you might save some good premium dollars. Like last week, I told you we saved a couple. I thought it was about $155. As it turned out, it was $168 because on April 1st, that insurance company is offering an extra 3% discount for husbands and wives who apply together. Anyway, let's talk about what's going on with the MLD agency. So last week we were able to reissue a uh, Medicare supplement policy on a client. Uh, we had a client who's traveling for a few weeks abroad, so we were able to get them a travel policy. Yes, we do travel insurance medical. So if you're going to a country and you're uncertain about the health care in that country, Give me a call. Travel policy might be just what you need. And we were able to help a client out with the dental insurance. Hey, Deb, thank you for referring your friend to us because Deb got a $25 finder's fee check. Anyway, until next week, enjoy March Madness. And remember, April showers will bring May flowers. <laughs>